All right, YouTube. This is the ASH 26, which is beautiful. And I'm working out some details on the fit and performance of the, the spinning of the prop. Checking for clearance here. It's very good now that we have the canopy attached. And uh, the yep, ESC. Yep, it's a yep, 40 amp. And uh, we got the Lemon RX receiver. Just getting ready to move into this, but uh, who's that I hear coming in? Is that? It's Esteban! And what's this he brought? He brought a DG505. Wait a second. Is this the same DG505 that we worked on earlier? I think it might be. Boy, that is a really nice nose cut. I wonder who did that. <coughs> anyway, so what we're going to do real quick is we're going to show you guys how we're going to glue in the motor that he brought, which is sitting over there. So we're going to come back and do that next. All right, guys, we're back with Esteban's DG505, available now at General Hobby. Just don't buy the more expensive one. You'll get the cheaper one anyway. But don't worry, they're low on stock, so they have no reason to send you the correct part. Isn't that what they did? What a bunch of idiots. They should be sending you some free money. Anyway, that is what it is. Okay, so we're going to take some masking tape. All right, put down on the bill six inches of masking tape. I'm just kidding. Just kidding, guys. That's not the way we roll. Esteban lets me fly and crash his planes, and then in return I must fix all his crap. <laughs> <laughs> That's our trade-off. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to tape all this stuff because we're going to be using some epoxy here, guys. We want to make sure we get off the edge. And <clears throat> epoxy is, in my opinion, difficult to work with. I know some of you guys think... I'm nuts because it's really not that hard to work with. Well, I I think it's hard to work with. I think it's a pain. It's a huge pain compared to other adhesives. Um, but you know what it is? It's going to be doing some things that you can't do with other adhesives. Okay, so you see this little spot there I missed. I'm going to just rip it here and get that. So basically what's going to happen is that epoxy might stick to this a little bit. So that's not the end of the world. I just want to get the vast majority of it protected, okay? And we want to put that wire where we want the wire to be. So now the other thing is I'm just going to tape over the back. I'd rather waste a little bit of tape and get a good and get a good finished product than have uh, you know epoxy get in the motor and ruin it. How much is this motor? Uh, Thirty-eight bucks. Oh, Thirty-seven bucks. That was at the local hobby shop, right? It wasn't like on Amazon. No. Okay. So basically. What we're going to attempt to do is we're going to attempt to put this in, and this is just a plywood mount that Esteban had put together, and we're just going to kind of let the wire hang low. <clears throat> and what he wants to do is have it right up the edge, and I'm like, I'm not crazy about that because you got these big bolt heads, but honestly, it's what he wants to do, and I think we're going to do it that way just because it's going to end up working out good because we have a nice tight squeeze. These shapes are elongated. It's like an elongated toilet bowl, right? Elongated exactly. toilet bowl. Exactly. And uh, so if it were perfectly circular, then you could make an, a little easier, it'd be a little easier install, but it would be definitely not necessarily um, easy still. Okay, so he made this tool. Is this the one you were going to use or the other one? We had this little stick that he made, and this little stick is uh, his thought was that we could hold on to the motor shaft and then actually really move it around which was a really smart idea so we're gonna basically have this available if we need it to kind of pull and put pressure on it okay but we're only gonna use it if we need to now let's look at a plane that has the prop pointed it's pointed this way and this this P51 this is the same way you would do with anything else do you want to take a look at this P51 as an example? Gosh, I keep running into my ASW28. <clears throat> okay, so this P51 has a very obvious example of the angle. You see that, Esteban? Mm -hmm. See how it's pulling to the right? Now let's look at it from the side. And from the side, you can see that it's pulling down some. And what that does is that helps to counteract the torque roll 
effect. So we want it to be pointed to our right and then down, okay? Now the only reason I show you on the P51 guys is just to help you guys understand if you're not able to visualize that. Um, there is probably some formula somewhere that you could follow. We're just going to use the formula of whatever works is what we're going to do. Are you suit are you are you fine with that? There? Sure. Okay, cool. So we had a couple of different ideas on doing this. My idea was to actually tack it in with CA first. Is that alright with you still? Yep. You could use hot glue. We've got epoxy here, we're gonna mix up in just a second. But for now we're gonna use a little kicker and a little non-foam safe medium CA. Okay? The idea being we're gonna try to get this thing held in place. And then we're going to slather on a whole boatload of uh, epoxy to get our motor mount where we want it. And lucky for Esteban, he didn't even know I just did my motor today, but I didn't do the motor mount myself. I was fortunate enough to have that done for me. And so I'm pretty lucky in that way. Hey, there's a paper towel out on that island. Will you go grab that for me? Thanks. Um, okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're only going to tack this in a couple of spots. We want to point it down some, and we want to point it to the right. So at this point, we'll tack just a little bit there because there's a discrepancy in the wood. Okay, and we'll just give it a little kiss of kicker. And then we're going to come down here in this spot where there's a discrepancy in the balsa wood too. We're going to do just a little bit, and we're just do a little bit of kiss a kicker. We're going to do probably three or four points, okay? So as you can see, it's already holding it in place. Now, I would not, I would not in a million years recommend just CA to hold a motor mount into a composite glider like this. That would be nuts. But as you can see, it's basically holding it now. Obviously, again... We're not talking about permanent. This is just, this is just to um, get it held in position. So guys, we were having a debate off camera, and after I um, won the fight, just kidding, we didn't fight. Um, I wanted to show him how much I had on my bird of time, okay? And this bird of time flies really good, but even with three washers on the top, two washers here, zero washers and one washer which gives me my right and my down this thing still has a horrendous torque roll i mean and it's this can be a little bit bigger this is actually about the right size prop for what you're going to do isn't it this is a 12.6 is that about what you're doing okay so anyway the reason i show you that guys just to give you an idea of how much it takes now granted this bird of time is kind of a heavier well it's heavier than my ASH-26, but it may not be heavier than this, I guess. I'm not sure. So, real quick, now that that CA's had a chance to dry some, set up, you can see that there is definitely some angle, and there is definitely some angle. This board is not perfectly square, by the way. But it's just to give us a reference, okay? So now that's in there good enough to where we can start doing some CA, excuse me, some, uh, what are we doing? Epoxy. Why am I forgetting words like epoxy today? Okay, so we're set these pillows where we want them so that we can get this thing in a comfortable position. That's one thing about epoxy that's um, not very fun is that it's just, it can tend to be a huge, humongous mess. Um, so we're going to use a five minute epoxy. Normally I wouldn't run a five minute epoxy on this, but that's what Esteban has. He wants to use that, so we're going to go with that. Um, if I was in your shoes, guys, I would probably encourage you to do maybe just a little bit more, um, a higher count, and a higher count meaning that, okay, we're going to get a new pair. Okay, Esteban had a brilliant plan. You know what we're going to do? Some hot glue. That is an even better idea, except if we do hot glue, I don't know for sure that's going to work. This is why my wife doesn't need to be borrowing my tool. She put this in the wrong spot. Did you see that? It was, oh man, I can't believe that. Epic fail. So we're going to plug this in. Hey, actually, that's a good idea, Esteban. I think we'll do, we'll do some hot glue over the top. How the heck are we going to get glue on the sides, though? I don't think we're going to get glue on the sides. 
We're gonna have a heck of a time getting glue on the sides. Hey, just so you know, this doesn't spin right now. You know why? It's it taped. The, uh, tape. Yeah, so when we're all done, guys, this is gonna get unscrewed. The motor's gonna fall out and then we'll be able to do some more work, okay? So really, you know what we gotta do now? We gotta just take the freaking motor out, because we can. Okay. Let's do it, we're just taking the motor out. We're gonna pause, we'll get the tools for it. Okay guys, we got a two millimeter, um, two millimeter S1. You wanna grab that and try to start screwing that out, the one that I just loosened. And then we can both be hands on deck. You go ahead, don't be afraid of the camera. Oh man, that, oh you're blocking my view, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm Thanks so God. mean to you Esteban okay so this is what we're doing guys we're just gonna undo these screws all but like the last thread and then we can like push and that should help us to pop the motor free did it, did it come free okay uh, I think so. why is there so much pressure did you glue that on there you didn't glue it on there did you okay all right if we drop these just uh don't let them get too far because there's always like four million things in the way Awesome. Okay, so now all we have to do is just be careful not to lose the screws. Esteban, get ready to live. Check this out. Oh, those are stainless steel. Those are stainless steel, dude. You know how I know? It's not uh, magnetic. It's barely magnetic. Yeah, that's hilarious. I, I just used stainless steel for mine today, too. Sounds like you're opening a candy bar over here. All right, so now that we have the motor out, guys, what we can do is we can go ahead and fill in epoxy both on the face and on the inside. Now, we don't want to get too crazy on the inside because we might end up um, slopping it to where it's not going to work. All right, so, hey, Esteban, do you care if I cut this tip? Is that right? I know that sounds really awkward. All right, so we're mixing up this epoxy, guys. It's just Loctite epoxy, nothing special. Normally I would use a tray like this, but since we have this nice Loctite case, we'll just use it, okay? Okay, we got enough there to probably get it done, but we'll just do, for good measure, we'll do a little bit more, and then we'll put this cap back on, and we'll get back to work. Which way does this cap go? This is weird. Crap, I put it on backward. That's going to be such a huge mess. Actually, I had it on right. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to mix this up with a little mixing tool that's also going to be used as an applicator. Looks like a small fork. Hey, look at your clock and tell me what time it is, Esteban. 6.28. 6.28. All right. Add four minutes to that and tell me what that would be. 32. 32. Six, uh, 32. 32. Okay. All right, good. I just wanted to make sure I was getting my math right in my head because I'm preoccupied by getting this mix perfect. And when I say perfect, I just want it to look creamy. And I think we're there. Sorry the camera's shaking. That is a little awkward. All right, Esteban. Am I doing this? I'm doing this, right? Yeah. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm basically going to slather this and we're just probably going to re-poke those holes when it's all done. Is that alright with you? Hey, hold that please. Hold it tight. Because I'm going to have epoxy all over myself and then you can kind of be the clean hand person so you can handle the work. Is that alright with you? Alright, sweet. Because that will actually work pretty good. I wish I had had you around earlier while I was doing this to my own plane. That would have been handy. Okay, so now we want to wipe off and be very careful on the outside edge here because it's going to make a mess if we're not careful, okay? So, I'm going to clean up the big hole. Okay, now I want you to take and hold that vertical. Don't hit my planes, please. Oh man, you're just letting it get everywhere, seriously. Like, look at this, you see this? It's getting all over. We got to be on top of it. You the have some uh, paper, paper towels towel? right behind you, okay, but well, you can't let go. You got to keep holding. Well, I'll trade you. You're good now. You're good now. All right, go ahead and grab that. Grab this where it's clean. Okay, now I'm, since I'm dirty, I'm going to do this. Okay. I'm just going to pull it forward and get it out of the pretty part. That worked all right. Okay, I'm just going to throw this out. If we drip down, it's okay. We can always sand it down. That should be no big deal. 
Okay, so now this, I basically want to get it to flow in there, so I need you to hold like this. And if we drip, it's not the end of the world, but just hold right there. Nice and steady. Use both hands now so that I can have it supported as I scrape this off. This is five minute epoxy, guys. You gotta work fast if you got five minute. He's dripping on the floor. Son of a gun. That's life in the big city. I gotta get this stuff in here, so I'll just have to deal with it. It's no biggie. Okay, so you see what I'm doing, guys? I'm just basically putting this in and around all the edges. Now, obviously, we're gonna have to take this epoxy and uh, thank you, exactly. That's what I needed. You're like reading my mind. Except for the drips. Don't try to catch it. Just let it. Just let it drip. It ain't the end of the world. Nobody's going to die. Unless, of course, they eat it. Kids don't eat the epoxy. Okay. They know. They're good now. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm making the maximum contact area here. And I don't want to be wasteful. Okay, Esteban, you need to turn that so I can see. I don't care if you can see. There you go, right there, perfect. Uh, turn the tail to your away from you a little bit. There you go, perfect, perfect. Okay, so you see what I'm doing? Nothing magical about it. Now, um, since your hands are clean, I need you to probably just leave it and I'll just catch the drips. Where else do we drip? Oh, we just got a couple there, we're okay. Okay, lift it up and avoid the air bus over here. Come over one step, there you go. All right, perfect. Now, do you have any idea what time it is? Uh, 6.31. Uh, so how many more minutes? Just one more. Okay, tip that tail toward me without hitting the yellow and black one. Okay, now put the nose back over toward the table saw. Here's what I wanna do, just cause I don't wanna get your plane dirty. Hold it right like that, level. Perfect. Now I'm gonna just kneel down and look at the nose. I wanna look, so hold it up. Hold it up, up high. There you go. Perfect. You see that big nasty drip? Looks like a alien has a nasty cold or something. All right, so this was good having a second set of hands, although I don't think either of us really knew exactly what we were expecting to do. Okay, so we got everything pretty much onto the airplane that needs to be onto the airplane. Now I'm just working on catching drips before the drips get everywhere. Okay, so now the other thing is if you were trying to really do this out of fiberglass, the fiberglass would help to reinforce and make it a little bit stronger. Can Are your hands getting tired? Go up high, go up high, like so you're gonna hit the ceiling almost. Go up a little higher, like up, there you go. Okay, hold it steady. I need you to hold as steady as you can there. Perfect. This is super awkward for Esteban because he didn't know what he was going to be doing. It's, it's fine. And I didn't know what we were going to run into either. So, But you got to work quick. This stuff don't wait on anybody, I'll tell you that. Okay, so you and I will get that touched up in a second. Let's let it set for a sec. I'm going to grab this paper towel. Oh, you grabbed two of them? Here, hold on. I'm going to take this now. I'm just going to pull away. Wherever you got those paper towels, go grab two more from the other room. I'm out on this particular roll. In fact, just grab the whole roll. Thanks, man. Okay, perfect, guys. I'm glad I had a second set of hands on that. That would have been a pain in the butt. Did you flatten the inside surface of the um, mount? Did I flatten it? Yeah, because the mount is going to be sitting against it. Um... I didn't really, but that's probably not a bad idea. You have that uh, tiny spatula? I do, and I'm going to work on it now. Okay. If you, you have... if you can just hold this with your clean hands, <clears throat> that's a good idea. That's a great idea. Although, to be honest with you, it probably won't matter as much as you think. Hey, you better keep your hand away from the end, because you don't want to get that stuff on you. It's such a mess. With that tiny spatula, guys. Because this is what this is going to do essentially is it's going to turn this piece of wood into like a piece of armor. It's going to be extremely strong. Okay. Even just a thin coat of this stuff would be satisfactory to make this very strong. Okay, so now I need you to do like we did before, but try not to run into my planes. Go up to the ceiling <laughs> like an alien snot. Okay, you got it? 
Okay, very good. Okay, so what I'm doing is now I'm just spreading this back to the edges. Because that's where we need to make the gap, make up the gap, right? And it's starting to get stringy finally. Gosh, five minutes, my butt. That stuff's more like 10 minute epoxy. I don't know why it took so long to set up. That should have been a lot quicker. All right, so we got paper towels. You good? Yep. Okay, just keep that one in case you got a drip. You got a catch. Okay, I'm clean on this hand. This finish is so pretty, you don't want to get epoxy all over it. But I'd rather get epoxy all over it and have a nice strong motor mount. I just reject the theory that you have to have one or the other. You know, we can do it nice. Made like a spider web, that's crazy. Okay, so now, can I hold this for one more second? I'm gonna try just looking. Oh, it's so ugly. It, it really does. It is very ugly, it but it'll be, ugly. it'll work. It's not gonna matter. I don't think it's gonna make a difference at all, Esteban, for, for real. Um, the inside here, were you able to find those couple of drips? Yep, I did. Sweet, thank you for doing that. Man, epoxy is just one of those things, you know. You start doing it, it's always a bad time. So I've just learned. Wait until you're supposed to be leaving for your family event. Like a Christmas party or something like that. And then go ahead and just start mixing your epoxy. And it, it has this awesome effect of making everybody just really happy with you. Especially your wife. She'll love you for it. She's like, Brian, thanks, thanks so much for doing that right now. I could probably have a little... Oh, son of a gun. This stuff is getting super sticky. Got her? Thank you. All right, so now at this point, it's so thick that it's probably not going to be an issue. Okay? And um, it's so thick, it's like candy. I think we're going to be okay. Do you have a nail to poke holes through the uh, epoxy? No, but I have this awesome thing here. No, don't use it. Put it down. That's for paint. This is a Q-tip, which is disposable. We can use that. And it's the perfect size, in fact. But honestly, really, what we should just do is not mess with it. Because it's not going to get us anywhere. It's going to only pull the epoxy off. See? Oh, but it's gonna help. It pulled the epoxy off. Eh. It pulled the epoxy off. Okay. It's not worth it's doing. I can take a little fresh uh, epoxy, and when I say fresh, I mean however fresh this stuff is. And I'm going to scrape some of that. We're going to stick it in there. See? It's already hard. It ain't coming off. Okay, well, that answers that. Just leave all this stuff right here all to set up, and then we'll come back to this in a minute. And basically what that's going to do is then we can go ahead and poke a drill in there. And... Uh, we're just double checking we don't have a bunch of missed points I would really like to take a fresh q-tip and uh, we pull that off of there <laughs> I'm gonna pull this little bit out just where the motor goes where the shaft goes because there's one thing I've learned is you want to keep it clean where your shaft is gonna be right exactly good advice, good advice. No comments. No comments. <laughs> okay, so guys, that was so much fun I could hardly stand it. And I'm sure you enjoyed the sentiment. We're going to pause. We'll come right back. All right, guys, we're waiting on this epoxy to set up. This is a Cobra 2814-12, which is 1390 kV. This is going to run on 3S. It's supposed to be super powerful or something like that. Got at the lo local hobby shop. So what I'm doing now is I'm just setting these screws in here so that they don't get mixed up or lost or anything. And then I'm going to stick this in a bag. And uh, so later on when you guys are wondering what motor we're using on that awesome flying plane. This is the motor right there guys. Cobra. Cobra. 2814 12, 1390 kV. I thought you said this was like 700 kV. No, no. This one okay. is uh, 1380. 
I was looking at it when you said it. 1390. Because I'm pretty sure the 10 is going to make a dig, big difference, right? <laughs> but no, really, it's... um. We'll see how it works, guys. I don't know if it's going to work great or if it's going to work horrible. But I can tell you this. Um, since it's not my plane, I'll probably still end up showing you gonna how work, it turns it's out. Gonna it's going to be awesome. I'm just, I just don't have uh, the OCD issues that you have, right? He doesn't have the OCD issues I have. That's what he says. So what we did was we wiped off um, the outside with a little acetone. Um, where we had some spillage and as you can see everything is intact may have to do just a little light sanding to get that smooth and pretty and then on the inside guys you can see we've got a nice thick layer of epoxy around it so we'll have to take a drill bit and then clean these holes up but you know what it don't got to be pretty it's just got to be strong and sometimes pretty is strong but either way, it looks pretty cool. So thanks for enjoying that experience, guys. What a beautiful plane, guys. That thing is so pretty. And thanks to Grant L. for the uh, instrument cluster detail. It's going to be awesome, guys. We're going to get you a shot of that here soon. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.